Hello, I'm Kenny with Albot, and today we're releasing version 4 of our Steam Controller binds for Adobe Premiere Pro 2017. What this allows you to do is use the Steam Controller in Premiere to edit in a way that's more comfortable and potentially faster than you're used to. Big features are a scrubbing wheel here to go frame by frame or five by five through your footage to give you a better sense of pacing in your uh, clips, as well as your most used features right at your fingertips so you can build muscle memory and fly through footage uh, pretty quick, especially during your selects and assembly edit phases. Um, each button has four functions potentially mapped to it uh, with some room there uh, for you to add your most used functions, and I'll tell you how to do that later in the video. Uh, but overall, this is kind of intended to just let you relax a little bit more and work a little bit faster uh, using a, a, something that I think a lot of us are used to using, a gamepad. Uh, you've seen versions of this in the Logitech uh, gamepads, you know, the little kind of side multi-button things, really popular with MMOs and uh, games like Dota, I assume anything with a lot of keystrokes. Uh, and this is kind of my answer to that because I don't have those functions or the, the multi-mouse buttons. Those are also really popular. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how this works, how I use it, how you can use it, and how you can modify it if need be. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. Download the files from albot.co to follow along. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to go to albot.co, hit the blog, and download our bind set here. Just click that and you'll get four files. These four files here, you'll, you've got a readme with the binds in it and the file paths for these two files, the Adobe file, the Steam Controller uh, template, and a bind card, which is basically a pretty uh, graphical version of the readme there that is in plain text. Now this only works for Windows. I'm sorry, I don't have uh, a Mac, so I can't test this on Mac. I can't design one for Mac, but once I have access to one where I can do this again, I'll, I'll go ahead and try to release that. Um, it's it's a it's an Adobe problem, not a Windows problem, unless they fixed it, in which case give it a shot. I don't know, it can't hurt. So uh, once you've put those files where they need to be, you're going to add a non-Steam game in Steam. Now, if you don't have Steam and you're just doing this for the first time, uh, it's free, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it'll be in this list. Since I've already done it, it's not there, but you'll go ahead and click Premiere. Obviously, that's not Premiere, but uh, then click Add Selected Programs, and uh, you'll be good to go. From there, you will need to open up Big Picture Mode and go into the library, go to Games, Premiere, Manage Shortcut, Controller Configuration, Browse Configurations, and under your templates, you'll see Premiere CC Binds V4 because you put it there earlier. Uh, from there, just uh, set it and forget it. You'll never need to open uh, Big Picture ever again. All you, from now on, you can launch Premiere from uh, the regular Steam window. That's an update. Uh, thanks to Valve for that. I used to have to launch Big Picture every time, and it was kind of annoying. So you're going to launch Adobe. What you're going to do is go up to Edit keyboard shortcuts, and you're going to move it from what it'll most likely be at, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro default, and you're going to move that down to this one. Uh, and so in the keybinds, you'll see that things are bound to V, C, S, and T, as well as enter and delete in these keys. If you ever feel the need to edit one, for instance, S doesn't have anything bound to it except S. So you've got room here for control, shift, and control shift. Every key has a function, plus a function when you hold Y, X, or Y and X. That's shift and control and both of them. So uh, for example, under C, which is the down button here on the left pad, um, just pressing down brings you to the timelines or between the two timelines if you're a pancake editor like me. Um, control down brings you to copy. Uh, shift down is audio gain and control shift down is the type tool. And obviously you can change any of these if you want. You can look up the function that you want and literally just click and drag it over. Or you can click the thing that you want and then uh, assign them that way. So uh, once you've done that, just leave it alone for now, uh, until, unless you know specifically that you need a function that's not already on the list. 
uh, and then you can go through and start editing. Now, the way that I do it is I have what is called the pancake timeline as set up by uh, Vashi Netamansky, a brilliant man in his own right. Um, I don't know if he came up with this, but he's the one who showed it to the world, at least showed it to me via the internet. So um, we're gonna give him the credit. Um, so the way, let me just delete these things from this old stuff. So you're going to go through here and import. Now, again, this is just right click, left click on the mouse. These two things are the only ones that you can't set binds to because um, they're just mouse buttons. And you're gonna go through and you're just gonna select all the footage that you need in an organized fashion uh, in a way that won't embarrass your supervisor. Uh, in this case, we'll just grab some of the snowboard footage and leave it in the raw media file without giving them their own subfolders. Then you can open it up. So the way that this gives you speed and comfort is A, you don't have to be hunched over the keyboard like a troglodyte. You can uh, sit back, relax, walk around, whatever you gotta do. You got a controller in your hands. If you're a gamer especially, this will feel very comfortable. Um, so then, uh, you know, best practices, you go through all of your footage, no matter what, if you're doing a narrative, or if you're doing a music video or a hype reel or the simplest thing, you wanna go through every single frame of footage and watch it, even if you shot it, okay? So uh, obviously we're not gonna do that here because it's just an example, but uh, what you would do is you just go through Click your first one, uh, start from the beginning, and play it. Just watch. Interesting, right? Once you've got a feel for it, you're going to want to scrub through like this. And all you got to do is use the outside of the left uh, touchpad to go frame by frame, or if you hold Y, it'll go five by five to kind of speed it up. So let's say I want to start with this. There's that snowboard in the way, whatever that is, someone's glove. So not there, I'm gonna go there. In point is the left uh, trigger or uh, grip button. Scroll forward till you wanna leave there. We'll say there, right when the thing leaves. Out, and then hold Y, and then hit out again, and it'll put it in your timeline. Now you'll notice it put it in the main one, not the selects one, and it put it at the end of this thing here. Well, that's not what I wanted. I could just delete it by hitting B, but I'll go ahead and hit undo. And then I'll make sure selects is selected uh, and go to the beginning. So selects I got by pressing down on the left pad and going to the beginning of the thing. I just hit left on the right pad. Right brings you to the next edit. Left brings you to the previous edit. Since there's no edits there, just jumps to the beginning. So we'll go back to the source menu, uh, window by just pressing up and then we can do our insert again. There you go. Then, uh, now normally I'd have two monitors here, so um, normally there's a bin just waiting for me under my mouse, so I'll just click over with the right mouse, but uh, you can bind something to a bin if that's really your fancy, or you can just click around, whatever you gotta do. So you go to the next one, go to the beginning of the thing, play it, watch it all the way through, blah, 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 find your edit, here we go, we'll say we want that, right? Good, nope, that's not what we want, out, there we go. And you go back to your bin. Next one. I'm not trying to play that. Also, if you go up or down on this right pad, it'll zoom in or zoom out. Uh, so we want to go to the beginning there. Um, so go back to your media, pick your next one, click it, start at the beginning, play it, watch it, see what's happening. Turn off audio scrubbing if you need to. It's just X, Y, and select. Um, find where you want it to be. We'll say that looks good maybe. In point, scrub forward to your out point, wherever that is, insert. Do it again. Find your next one. That one. Select. It's me. Going through. Shorter beard than normal. Wanted to start there. Go to maybe there. No, before I gesture. There's good. Out, Y, good to go. Next one. Stay positive, right? Oh, my hand's in the way. That's no good. Go back to raw media. This one. Forward to probably there. In. There's good. Out. 
there you go. So you're going to pull your selects like that, just going through um, and pulling selects that way. When you're ready to go, you can hit control, copy, hit down, control, paste. There you go, right? And that's how you can kind of do your quick little assembly cut. Obviously, you're going to want to be at the beginning, like we said. Um, and that's kind of, you know, just some of the quick features there of this system that uh, is that, in my opinion, speeds you up, makes it a little more comfortable. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to tell you how to edit, but that's kind of the way that I'm doing it. Really, the, the big portion of this is just pulling selects and editing quickly and not having to hunch over and be sad. Um, this is a project in motion, so changes are going to happen. This is, you know, definitely not a final, final thing, but it is, in my opinion, something that's kind of pleasant to work with. So if you've got any suggestions or a way of streamlining it, please let me know. Um, there's not much else to talk about. This is bound to save, just so you know. So hit that often, save your projects, don't get caught with your pants down, and uh, be excellent to one another. I'll see you next time.